afternoon, all telehealth members. How are we doing today? Today, what we're going to be discussing is our COVID-19 updates. As fast as all the scientists are working to come up with a vaccine, it is as fast as the numbers are spiking. Yes. Some of you may have known that there are certain areas throughout New York that has been quarantined, stating that uh, all restaurants and establishments cannot have indoor dining for that moment, such as Forest Hills. And they are waiting to see what we can do to slow down this spread. Okay? Now, have no fear, people. We're also in the beginning of the flu season. So I know that it could be very scary having a flu right now because you don't know whether it's COVID-19. So I definitely urge each and every one of you to get your flu shot, okay? Let's get this flu shot. Let's do it. Now you guys have seen on the news that our president has taken a COVID-19 therapy that help him get back into his job. A lot of people questioning that, a lot of people want to know about that. And also, what I'm also going to teach you today is another method that they are putting into work, which is people that have been infected by the Corona-19, taking their blood plasma and using that as a form of treatment for other people that are sick. Now, I know it sounds scary. Somebody's taking my blood to go help somebody. How do they know? And there's a bunch of questions. I get it. But this is not something new. This has been done, uh, should I say, for the last 100 years. Yeah. We have took in, taken, rather, literally plasma from recovered patients that has been used for more than 100 years to treat a variety of illnesses from measles to polio, chicken pox, and SARS. It is widely believed to be safe. So, for example, I'm gonna use me for example. Let's just say I caught COVID, right? I build up my antibodies and I was able to fight it off. With that being said, I now have the, I now have the antibodies in my plasma. A plasma is what holds the blood together. So it's, it's a blood thing, okay? I go and take a test to see if I have the COVID. It shows that I have, I don't. I can go and donate my blood. Tell them that I have the antigens for it. And we can use that as a form of treatment. So, there's, let me read you a little quick snippet. What is convalescent plasma? Does it help for people with COVID-19? When people recover from COVID-19, their blood contains antibodies. Remember the word antibodies that their bodies produce to fight the coronavirus and help them get well. Antibodies are found in plasma, a component of blood. Covalent plasma, literally plasma from recovered patients have been used for more than a hundred years to treat variety of illnesses such as measles, polio, chickenpox, and SARS. Now, you might be wondering, hmm, if you caught the COVID, I hope you didn't, can I be able to donate my blood to help for finding new treatments to defeat COVID-19? It says here, in order to donate plasma, a person must meet several criteria, okay? There's a checklist that you have to check out before you're able to do so. Here it is. They have to have tested positive one time of COVID-19, recovered, have no symptoms for 14 days, currently test negative for COVID-19, and have high enough antibody levels in their plasma. A donor and a patient must also have compatible blood types. Once plasma is donated, it can it is screened for other infectious diseases such as HIV. 
So not everybody could donate their plasma. Okay, you have to check out all their criteria. All right, maybe you have the antigen, but you only have enough for yourself, and you can't give off any plasma to anybody else. So they'll probably exclude you from that. Okay, and then on top of that, they will have to screen the plasma blood to make sure there's no other infectious diseases with your plasma. Yes, this is something that they have been doing and it has been working for some. Okay, there's a, a lot of big major corporations that are working diligently every day to try to find a new therapy or treatment. Johnson & Johnson is the one that's pushing forward with this. What else do, okay. What else can we do to help the stop the spread of the COVID-19? Well, like I have been saying for months, wear the mask. That's all you gotta do. Yes, can it be annoying? I, I get it, it could be annoying. This on top of your face all day long, it's annoying, but it's for your own good, okay? Wear the mask, wash all your clothes after you come outside if you go to a place that is high numbers of corona, all right? I know that the holiday season is coming up and trust me, we're gonna have many holidays for the years to come. This Halloween, I know you have some grandbabies Maybe some grandchildren that won't, that you normally take out trick or treating. I don't advise to do that. Uh, we don't want to make this spread any bigger than what it is, and we don't want to put ourselves into harm's reach. So there's different other ways to celebrate Halloween than going for trick or treating. You can have a own little Halloween party at your house. Have a marathon of scary movies. Have a dance contest with the best costume. You know us, we're doing the best costume. Get a free laptop. All right, so make sure to send me in all your pictures. All right. I just want to give everybody, besides the COVID-19 update, a heartfelt message from me to you. I know that things this year has took us for a loop. I understand. We never thought something like this could happen. And we do miss each and every one of you. We really do. We call you daily just to check up and making sure that you have the things you need to go along with your days. Yes, can the phone calls be annoying daily? I get it, I understand, but it's for your own good, okay? We're just calling to check up, and that's all it is. If you can't, if you're tired of picking up the phone, or you can't pick up the phone, shoot me a message through Facebook. Let me know you're doing okay. That's all we want to know. How you doing, what you're doing, and if you need anything from us that we can help. Please, pick up the phones. Let us know how you're doing. Shoot me a message through Facebook, okay? We really miss and worry about you guys. This is not just a job. This is our way of being. This is our quality of life. Okay? With that being said, I hope everybody has a great Halloween. Stay safe. If you want to stay six feet apart, please wear your mask, wash your hands, and have a great day, everybody. Take care.